So this is just a quick video to show you how to send a notification to um, an email address that is contained within a custom field. And for this, we're using the send to any email add-on and the custom fields add-on for better notifications for WordPress. So the first thing you wanna do is set up a notification. Now this is my test environment and I've got all the necessary add-ons and plugins installed. I'm not sending to a real email address, so I've got um, a, a, a post SMTP plugin installed with an email log so we can see the output afterwards. So the first thing we want, we want to do is create a, um, a notification. So we're going to do it for new post published. And I'm just going to call this new post published, send to a custom field or uh, send email to a custom field. Okay, so then we wanna go down and send it to somebody. I'm gonna send it to the administrators user group. And our custom field is a text field. Um, this is where the email address is gonna be stored. Uh, now currently you can only send to a single email address. Uh, so it's stored in the custom field, so let's do that. Okay, so this, uh, this custom field option is only available um, when using that combination of add-ons. So we're gonna do post title and post content. Okay, and then we're gonna save that notification. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is go and create a new post. And for this, we want to, let's just call it a new post uh, to trigger custom field. This is some content. And down here you'll see a whole bunch of custom fields uh, that I've set up um, for testing purposes. But what we're gonna do is in the text box here, we're gonna put in testing email at nfw.local, which is the uh, domain name that we're, I'm currently operating at. So then we're gonna hit publish. And what you should see is the notification go to both the admins, because there's two admins in our administrator user group. And you should also see it go to this user here. And we'll go check on the email log in a minute. So let's publish that. Okay, and then go to our email log. As you can see, we've got three notifications. One is to one of the admins, one is to the other admin, and this one is to the email address that we stored in our custom field. And there you go.